Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mueteaching.com. Let us see the question. What should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7? Let us try to understand the question. It says that what should be added to twice the rational number? Twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 means this much. What should be added to this so that we get 3 by 7? So let us suppose that we add x to it. So now we have a linear equation in one variable that is minus 14 by 3 plus x is equal to 3 by 7. And we have to find value of x. So let us transport minus 14 by 3. We get x is equal to 3 by 7 plus 14 by 3. Let us solve this further. We get 21 as LCM and numerator becomes 3 into 3 plus 14 into 7. On solving, we get 9 plus 98 whole divide by 21 which is equal to 107 by 21. That means x is equal to 107 by 21. And we can say 107 by 21 should be added to 2 times minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7. Let us read the question. The perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeters and its width is 2 3 by 4 centimeters. Find its length. Let us try to understand the question. We are given perimeter of this rectangle to be 13 centimeters. Its width is given as 2 3 by 4 centimeters and length is not given so let us assume that length is equal to x centimeters then perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times length plus width. Let us substitute the values. 13 is equal to 2 into x plus 2 3 by 4. We know that 2 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction. So, it comes out to be 4 to the 8 plus 3 11 by 4. Let us solve the equation now. We get 11 by 4 in the equation. Now let us solve it further. We get 13 is equal to 2x plus 22 by 4. We open the bracket by multiplying 2 with x and 2 with 11 by 4. To solve further, we can see that we can further simplify the last term. Now we have to take the constant term to the other side of the equality. And we get 13 minus 11 by 2 is equal to 2x. 
it is take the LCM we get 26 minus 11 is equal to 2x which gives us 15 by 2 is equal to 2x now dividing both sides by 2 we get 15 by 4 is equal to x hence length of rectangle is equal to 15 by 4 centimeters which is also equal to 3 3 by 4 centimeters let us read the question the present age of sahil's mother is 3 times the present age of sahil after 5 years their age will add to 66 years find their present age to solve this question let us approach step wise the present age of Sahil's mother is 3 times the present age of Sahil. So let us suppose that present age of Sahil is x years. Then present age of Sahil's mother is 3 times x. Now next sentence reads after 5 years their age will add to 66 years. So what will happen after 5 years? After 5 years Sahil's age would be x plus 5 and his mother's age will be 3x plus 5. Now it says that after 5 years the age will add to 66 years means that x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5 will be equal to 66. Now if we solve this equation and find the value of x, we will find the present age of Sahil and then multiply it with, with 3 to get present age of his mother. So let us start solving. We add the like terms. We get x plus 3x will give us 4x. Then 5 plus 5 will give us 10 is equal to 66. Now let us transport 10 to the other side of the equality. It becomes 66 minus 10 which gives us 4x is equal to 56. Let us solve further. On dividing both sides by 4, we get 56 by 4, which is equal to 14. So that means present age of Sahil is 14 years. So present age of his mother will be 3 into x, that is equal to 3 into 14, which is equal to 42 years. Let us read the question. Bansi has 3 times as many 2 rupees coins as he has 5 rupee coins. He has in all a sum of rupees 77. How many coins of each denomination does he have? So basically Bansi has 2 rupee coins 
and 5 rupee coins and if he has x 5 rupee coins then number of 2 rupee coins are 3x so we can write let the number of 5 rupee coins equal to x and number of 2 rupee coins is equal to 3x we also know that if we have 2 coins then then the amount that we have would be 2 into 5 that is 10 rupees same way if we have 3 coins of 2 rupee then the amount would be 3 into 2 that is 6 rupees so let us find the amount if number of 5 rupee coins are x and 2 rupee coins are 3x. So we write that amount Bansi has from 5 rupee coins is equal to 5 into x and from 2 rupee coins is equal to 2 into 3x that's equal to 6x also in the question it is given that he has in all a sum of rupees 77 so that means that 5x plus 6x should be equal to 77 let us solve this further we get 11x is equal to 77 dividing both side by 11 we get x is equal to 7 that means number of 5 rupee coins are 7 and number of 2 rupee coins is equal to 3x means 3 into 7 that is 21. Let us read the question. The sum of 3 consecutive numbers of 11 is 363. Find these multiples. Let us try to understand what does 3 consecutive multiples of 11 mean. If 22 is 1 multiple of 11, then the next multiple of 11 will be 33 and the next one would be 44. In other words, 33 can be written as 22 plus 11 and 44 can be written as 22 plus 11 plus 11. That means if one multiple is x, the other will be x plus 11 and the next one would be x plus 22 as 11 plus 11 is 22 so x plus 22 so we start by writing that let x be a multiple of 11 then the next multiple will be x plus 11 and the next consecutive multiple 
will be x plus 22. Now in the question it is given that sum of 3 consecutive multiples of 11 is 363. This means that x plus x plus 11 plus x plus 22 is equal to 363. Now let us solve this linear equation in one variable. We add like terms. We get 3x plus 33 equal to 363. 3x is equal to 363 minus 33. So 3x is equal to 330 dividing by 3 on both sides we get 330 by 3 which gives 110 hence the three consecutive multiples of 11 are 110 110 plus 11 equal to 121 and 110 plus 22 which is equal to 132 that means 110 121 and 132 are the required multiples of 11 Let us read the question. The difference between two whole numbers is 66. The ratio of the two numbers is 2 is to 5. What are the two numbers? Since the ratio of two numbers is 2 is to 5, then we may take one number to be 2x. So we Take one number equal to 2x, then the other number is equal to 5x. Now it is given in the question that difference between two whole numbers is 66. That means 5x minus 2x is equal to 66. Let us solve this. We have 3x is equal to 66. Dividing by 3 on both sides will give us x is equal to 22. So we can say that one of the required numbers is equal to 2 into x which is equal to 44 and the other required number is equal to 5 into x that is 5 into 22 which is equal to 110 now we can check with the 110 minus 44 is equal to 66. Hence we can say that 44 and 110 are the desired numbers.